Charterman, 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 And you compare that knee bend to the pinch of masher over here. Hey, what's up you guys? Tournament's Prime here doing another Transformers figure review on the Mastermind Creations Bovis figure. This is actually a third party figure of a classic scale tantrum figure that is to form Preda King. I'm very, very stoked about this. Thank you so much Sports and Toys for making this review possible. Please give Joe a call, phone number in the description below, and also like their Facebook page. The packaging for this figure is awesome as hell. Look at this, man. This is Cool. I really like how it has this matte finish over here. You have this 3D picture of the figure itself, so it looks like this is part of the design phase. It doesn't look like it's a picture of the actual figure. It has this nice gloss finish where you have the figure and then the rest of it's matted. I really like this look a lot. It says R03 Bovis at the bottom, Mercenary Supply Specialist. Mastermind Creations over here, ages 16 and up. We have the top of the packaging showing the figure over here. And on the side of the packaging, we have some nice silver chrome text over here. That's also embossed in the packaging looks great we have that same 3d rendered image of bovis and then here's the predicting on the back look at that this is gonna be awesome I cannot wait then here's the left side of the packaging ro3 bovis and then here's the bottom with a warning and then you can open it up it's held down by a magnet which is really really cool this packaging really impresses me it's very fancy we have this cool black and white drawing of tantrum right over here looking cool then there's the figure in the packaging with a nice window box reformatted so yeah man I am Joke for this thing, let's crack him open. Oh my god, okay, look, I'm gonna try to keep calm. I'm gonna be calm. My goodness, this is hitting the geek spot so hard. This figure is fucking awesome. It is a true badass masterpiece of a figure. I absolutely love it. And you know what? Predator King, not even my favorite combiner, but damn it, this guy is super cool. I mean, there's so many awesome things about it. I really like the proportions of the figure. As you can see, all the accessories fit on the figure. So you have his little sword blades over here, his two pistols, his backpack, which is actually the foot of Predator King. I mean, man, this thing is just gorgeous. And it's a hefty figure, too. He's got some weight to him. It's nice and bulky. That's what she said. And there's a lot of detail in it. Just a Badass looking piece. I'm trying to stay calm right now, man. Let's take a look at all the accessories and we'll take a closer look at this awesome figure. So Bovis comes with his own little trading card. Very cool picture of Bovis right here, aka Tantrum. Looks nice. This grid this grid stuff looks similar to how we saw in the packaging. A very thick card. Uh, just to show how thick it is compared to the last chance trading card we have over here. You can kind of see the difference in the thickness of the cards. Kind of tricky to see. And then here's the back with tech specs, which is very, very cool. So his strongest point is courage, and his weakest is speed, which makes sense. And he also comes with this instruction booklet slash comic book. So on this side, it opens up and it gets into the directions and all the contents of the figure. And the directions are pretty good. They read very, very well. I just want to point out that they have this thing going on that I haven't seen before in directions. They use this little lock logo over here and an unlock logo so you know when parts are supposed to connect, which is really helpful when you hear those dreaded clicking sounds while you're transforming something. It lets you know when you're supposed to hear it and when you're not. It also has this really cool picture of the fully built print King or the next page shows all five figures and then it gets into the comic book which you're supposed to flip around the other way and this is actually the cover of the comic book right over here. I love that the story is by C No Kibble. Ha! Huh, I get it. As you can see Tantrum has a left footed Predator King attached to his back which I think is a very cool look. I'm glad that you can do that. What's really cool too is it doesn't hinder the head articulation at all. So what you can do is you can pop this off. You can also attach it to his bull mode and it also has the fist plugged in here too. So you want to separate this right over here. There's a peg and then you can move this out like so and then there you go then here's the right hand to predicate or the left hand to predicate sorry but that looks like it's gonna be badass I like that tantrum does come with two blasters which are identical these look great I love this gunmetal color that we have over here and then we also have black nice sculpt some nice detail we have a lot of lines and rivets in these pretty cool and it does have these pegs that stick out on the sides of them over here so you can plug them in into a bunch of different ports and they fit into his hand pretty well too. If 
you try to just push it in this way over here, it's not really going to work. You have to start up top over here and then have it slide downward. And then there it goes. It looks great. And as I mentioned, there's numerous ports of where you could store his guns. You can put them right here. You can put them on his leg. My favorite spot for storing these are on his hips. I think that looks pretty cool. And then we also get these two blades that look awesome. I love these spikes coming out over here. I like how it's colored beige, but then we also have silver painted coming across the top and on the actual blade itself. It's serrated right here at the bottom, which is pretty cool. Cool. I like this a lot. It has this little gap over here. Pretty cool looking blades. And just like the guns, you can store them in the same spots. As far as putting this in his hands, though, you do have to move it in from the side, which is kind of tricky, but there it goes. It's in there. And you can have him holding him upside down, too. One thing that's really winning me over about this figure is I love the amount of color variations we have on the figure. We have some gray, orange, red, and a little bit of yellow on the face, and we have this glossy red right here on the eyes, which I'll show in a second. But there are the repro labels which are available, and thank you, Joe Capone, for letting me borrow your figure so you can see a comparison of how the figure looks with the repro labels on, repro labels off. The repro labels really do kick it up a notch, especially having a Decepticon logo right there. I really like this face sculpt a lot. I love this metallic paint that they used for his visor or his eyes. And that facial expression is so mean and menacing. I really like this a lot. That is just awesome. And you can see right here, that's where the Decepticon logo would go on the figure once I get the repro labels. I like the clean silver paint applications and the way this gridded thing is sculpted here it looks awesome. I really don't like these pads swinging around on his hips. This is actually my only complaint about the figure. I could actually do away with these completely. I don't think anything's missing if I turn them all the way around, having them facing backwards. It's the only part of the transformation that kind of bugs me. The arms on the figure look pretty good. I really like how the hooves tab into the back of his arms. That's pretty awesome, but we have little lines etched over here. A lot of great detail, and the hands look great too. They're not articulated, but they're posed well. And we got a dick arrow over there, and then we have these big bulky legs that have these cannons on the side, which look really cool, and his feet look pretty nice too. And then just getting another side look at the figure, I like how they have these little rivets and everything sculpted in here. This is just beautiful, man. Then here's a look at the back of the figure, nice heel spurs over there. The figure really just looks solid. Now this figure has a great amount of articulation. His head moves side to side, his horns move up and down as well, so you can do that too. And his face moves up and down due to the transformation too. You can get him to look down a little bit as well, that's pretty neat, you can get that going. And if you want just the face to look up, you can pull that off too. There's a bunch of articulation over here in the shoulders, we do have a ball and socket thing going in over here, which is great, so he has an armpit joint and he can move outward. And you can also get this piece to move out here, so you can make the arms move out like that. Of course you can rotate forward. He has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that fold all the way in, that's due to the transformation of course. Even though this piece folds in for the transformation, they did make a cut right here in the wrist so you can swivel the wrist side to side. I think that is awesome. I love that he has a waist joint, so the waist joint's really good. He has hips that can move all the way outward like this. That's pretty far. He can kick all the way forward. He has a single jointed knee that bends a little bit less than 90 degrees, which is pretty good. And then he has a lot of ankle articulation. The ankles can move down, they can move upwards. He has toe articulation, and of course he does have a beautiful ankle pivot. Yeah. And it looks like Tantrum stands just at eight inches tall. Tall, really good size. And here he is standing next to the TFC scavenger figure. As you can see, he's much taller. And here's our not tantrum compared to our not drag strip. This is the fans project downforce. And man, it looks like this Predaking is going to be way bigger than the fans project Menasaur. Here he is compared to his G1 counterpart, the original tantrum. This is a G1 reissue. Thank you, Chew. And you can see the similarities, of course. I do like that they've chose adding the silver over here, as I had mentioned before. This one has the same kind of grid, but it's just in sticker form. So they have this sculpted grid over here. And here's tantrum compared to a couple of classics figures. We have classic Starscream and classics Optimus Prime. And here he is compared to Masterpiece Acid Storm. Thank you, Mr. Phils. And then we have Boba's compared to Masterpiece Smokescreen and the MP10 Masterpiece Prime from TRU. This looks like it could possibly be the first combiner figure that would fit into the Masterpiece scale. I can't remember exactly how large this character is supposed to be compared to these two characters, but I think this is about right. And if I'm wrong about that, please feel free to correct me in the comments. And here he is compared to BTLD Spider-Man. So let's get this guy transformed into his bull mode. Take us away, Bubble Bee. What a great looking alt mode. This bull mode looks awesome.
I'm very, very pleased with this. Now, of course, he has everything loaded up. We have his knives and his guns right here attached to the sides, and he does have his Predaking foot attached over here. I will say that the transformation is not stupid simple. It's not very, very hard either, though. You definitely want to look at the instructions when transforming this guy, especially due to the price point of the figure. You know, these guys are not cheap. So I recommend looking at the instructions while you transform. Things tab into place very nicely. I don't have anything where I feel like it's loose or, well, except for you know, I had mentioned these little side flaps before. These guys don't really go into any particular place that I prefer, but you know, the fact that I just have them tucked underneath the belly like that is not too bad. And the figure looks great. I'm gonna take off all the guns though. I think if I'm gonna have him displayed in his beast mode, I'd rather have him displayed with all this stuff off. And the foot actually attaches with this little tab thing right over here, and there's these two slots right here in his back. Again, as much as I mentioned that I really like the color variations of the figure, it does look better with the repro labels on. Of course, we have this nose ring going on over here. One thing that did come with the figure, though, is that we have gray with these silver triangles painted on here, which I think looks very nice. But you can see the added stickers right over here and here. On my version, it has no stickers. Still looks really good without the repro labels, but the repro labels do make it look a little better. And they actually have stickers right here to decorate his bull butt. The articulation is really, really cool. So his mouth does open up. Stick your thumb right there, and his mouth opens up. One thing that does kind of suck is you can see the face, but you can switch it up so that you can put the face facing downward in his robot mode, and then you can have it open up like this where you can't see the face underneath, and that's pretty cool. I like that. And he has rotation right here at the head, and it kind of moves forward and back too, so you can get him moving downward if you want him like really charging. You want the bull charging forward like that, but you do get this gap right here, so that's kind of a bummer. His legs have great articulation. So you can rotate them forward, you can rotate them outward a little bit, I think that is awesome. And he does have a ball joint right here at this section, which allows some movement going forward and back a little bit and in and out. And he has a ball joint at the ankle, which means he has ankle pivot on his little hooves. Isn't that awesome? We got little hoof ankle pivot and it does move forward and back too. And same articulation on these hind legs over here. Everything moves the same way as it does in the front legs. So to get some measurements on this bull mode, he's less than six inches long he's about three and a half inches tall and from shoulder and from shoulder to shoulder he's about three and a half inches wide and here he is compared to his G1 counterpart which is actually a little bit taller that's kind of strange and here's a side-by-side -side view of both of the figures and here he is compared to our TFC scrapper figure and then here's a side view shoveling the bull butt and here he is next to the fans project breakdown figure which yeah he's a lot bigger than breakdown over here so let's get this guy transformed into his third and final mode which is his left leg mode will you take us away bumblebee so here's his left leg mode and it stands pretty tall just under seven inches around seven inches tall and I think the transformation went by pretty well there are a lot of tabs and the instructions again make it very clear what locks in and everything you can even see the hooves right here tab into the back there's all kinds of tabs going on here that make everything sync up nicely again the only problem I have are those two flaps that are buried in here you can see where he plugs into Leo right over here and already I'm noticing that that it does have ankle pivot. I'm very excited about that and it can rock forward a little bit over here and it's gonna have toe articulation. Pretty cool. I'm really excited about this combiner. I cannot wait. So going with some size comparisons, here he is compared to the G1 left leg of Predaking and then here he is compared to the right leg of TFC Hercules. Now if you look at the slots of where these things meet, this actually meets at a higher point than the Predaking. Just barely by a little bit bit so I thought this leg would stand a lot taller than it actually does but the length of the foot and the width of the foot I don't know they seem to be about the same I've seen size comparisons online and the Predaking is taller than Hercules I hope you guys liked my review big thanks to sports and toys please give Joe a call if you're looking for anything like their Facebook page hit the like button on this video if you liked my review leave a comment and subscribe I'll catch you guys later peace And we have these metallic, whoa. <laughs>